As the Northeast heads into Tier 3, businesses everywhere are back open. Like many other businesses, this local equestrian centre here in Castle Eden recently found themselves unprepared for the national lockdowns and are glad to be back open. Obviously, we had to stop the riding lessons. Um, and obviously, as you know, we've got lots of horses here, so they still have to be paid for. Um, they have to be kept, fed, watered, and we have to have the vet bills. Um, so when you're not getting anything in at all, it's really, really hard. We, we were just totally caught unawares. We've obviously, we've ne nobody's ever been in this position before. Um, we just, we didn't know how to react or, you know, what we needed to do. We were just following guidelines, finding out what we can and what we can't do, so we were keeping to the rules. The centre is used to being involved in the community. Before the pandemic, they'd have regular visits from children's nurseries and other groups. But it's not just visitors and staff that have been feeling the effects. We've got Thomas here. He's uh, one of our riding school horses. They get, not naughty, but they, they just go a little bit faster. <laughs> We do have children who have additional needs that come from a nursery um, and it helps with their education. Um, children who have autism are different parts of the spectrum um, and this greatly helps them and they're normally down here. When you're not getting anything in at all, it's really, really hard. Um, not only that, it's detrimental to other people's health because they like to come down here. We've got a lot of children with challenging behaviours. Um, adults with challenging behaviours that come down and use our facilities. The centre near Wingate is back open and although it may take a while to get back on their feet, like many other businesses, they'll be riding it out however best they can. Will Fox in Castle Eden.